earthquake tsunami or floods thousands of lives are lost each time any natural disaster strikes and in the chaos that follows many more perish due to lack of adequate and timely medical attention the logistics of providing medical care to millions of pilgrims visiting kumbh mela is simply mind boggling and across the country people residing in rural and remote areas have virtually no access to medicines or doctors the problems of the rural poor are compounded by geography many villages are located in hilly terrain or in remote locations traveling poses a great challenge the cost in terms of effort time and money may deter people from seeking medical services from city doctors in spite of dramatic strides in economic development these problems are well known and are still a cause of worry to administrators a comprehensive solution that has emerged in recent years is of telemedicine coming across as a most challenging sector of e-governance this will help people in the remote villages to avail specialized treatment on a cost effective basis the aim is to connect remote hospitals to the state of the art hospitals located in cities there is a provision of video conferencing where doctors can exchange ideas for proper diagnosis of patients telemedicine would become a very very good tool to get them to provide much better service it can help them in providing training continuously updating their knowledge it can link them to doctors for more complex cases using video conferencing voice communication and data communication it is possible to definitely work out referral system and see that how the complex cases are to be handled Telemedicine can also help in many other ways. For example, it should one should be able to build along with this a complete patient record system. One should be able to try to get to the rural medical pra practitioners whatever is happening anywhere else wherever necessary one should be able to give access to the test labs. to the rural medical practitioners so the internet link between the health services in urban areas and that in rural areas can significantly bridge many of these gaps countries like india where the majority of the population lives in rural areas where healthcare facilities are inefficient and inadequate tools like telemedicine can contribute substantially in bridging the gap between the demand and supply telemedicine involves utilizing the capabilities of indian technologists to provide computer based solutions for remote access of medical services broadband communication link is finally reaching every village and that is the pipe that becomes the basis to provide any services after that you have to build all kinds of tools and services you have to build good video conferencing services which fortunately exists you have to build equipment which will monitor patients remotely whether it is their temperature blood pressure their ecg the whether it measures their pulse uh, whether can we find their glucose measurement remotely making equipment like this at a very low cost which can be put in the villages which doctors can remotely monitor would go a long way reaching 
high quality government and uh, social sector services like education, health, uh, agricultural services to the remote and rural areas has always been a problem in the country. Partly because of the poor uh, quality of physical infrastructure and the remoteness of these locations. To overcome these problems under the National E-Governance Plan, 100,000 common service centers are being set up which are broadband and internet enabled and which have uh, computing infrastructure with all the associated peripherals. Uh, in short, at these common service centers, all the physical infrastructure and connectivity needed for telemedicine is actually available. Uh, these centers are being implemented uh, through a unique public-private partnership in a three-tier uh, model. At the village level, there is a village level entrepreneur who is responsible for running the center and who is a private individual and who forms the pivot around which the CSC system works. In the East, we can witness successful pilot projects in West Bengal and Tripura. Among the Western states, Gujarat has benefited from the telemedicine initiative undertaken after the Bhuj earthquake. In North India, telemedicine infrastructure has been set up in nodal hospitals in Himachal Pradesh and Punjab. And in the South, telemedicine centers are serving the masses in Kerala and Tamil Nadu at various centers. All these efforts, though commendable, may be best described as a drop in the ocean. There is an urgent need to scale up these efforts. While the potential of telemedicine is great, its impact has not really been felt in rural India. One reason is the awareness of the obvious risks involved in recovering investments. The need of the hour, therefore, is to keep patients only at lower hospitals where the disease is not that serious and the patient can be managed at that level. A case in point is a pilot project being carried out at IIT Kharagpur. The Ministry of Communications and IT supports this 